Another adventure with Agatha and B. Today we're going to the Madame Toussaint. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's French. The Madame Toussaint um, Museum in Shanghai. Apparently, it's like the fourth, the fourth in the world. So we're gonna go there and just check it out, just go and look at the wax museum and then after that we're gonna go and eat <laughs> and then we're gonna go to the the um then we're gonna go to the river the boat cruise after that. So now we are waiting for a taxi to get on to go to the wax museum. The wax museum is actually at Nanjing Donglu. Um, if you get on the metro, you can get off at um, you can get off at uh, Reming Guangchang or the People's Square, and it's just one minute from the metro station, so it's convenient if you wanna go there, especially during the holidays. Like now, it's the national day holiday but it's an eight day holiday so we decided to just spend the last day and just go out and do something before we're trapped in school again for the next how many weeks because there's no more holidays for the next couple of weeks probably until new year so yeah we're still waiting for the taxi <laughs> what are you dancing to oh her own music <laughs> Okay. Bye. Bye. Reynolds. Hey, okay, take a selfie. You know Ryan Reynolds? No. That shit is gonna turn there. Uh huh. Where is it? He left out. He, he, lo he lost our taxi. It's like, I don't want no, to go and turn around there. Ren. Because she doesn't want us to walk all the way looking for taxi. Last time we almost walked like half of Sorry. the distance. Half of the distance. Mm -hmm. So we got off the taxi and we're walking right now. And as usual, there's a lot of people. Look at the flowers, they look so nice. And we're crossing over, the police is there, gonna shout at us, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is she using the phone? Oh no, <laughs> just taking photos. <laughs> I thought she was about to use the phone. <laughs> and that's Nanjing Donglu, I think you guys have seen it before in a previous video that's basically a pedestrian street with a lot of shops and um, especially those like brands yeah just everything and it's also a tourist attraction it extends all the way to the band and that's why most tourists like to come and take pictures. And this is the building that we are going to go in. And that's a tour bus. You can also pay to go on these tour buses around 
the city we did that last year was it around this time last year we also went for the tour bus yeah yeah this holiday we went we got on the bus here and then you practically go around shanghai like on a sightseeing tour basically it's there Madame Toussaint I think you buy the we buy the ticket here and then we go up Let's go Oh this one Jigger Uh number two shit you buy we buy you. How about if we can use the Shushan card? Shushan Zhang Nang Ga Jia Ma? Shushan Zhang. Shushan Zhang, can you see? No, but that was to be a bad thing. So this is the place. And this is where you buy the tickets. Thank you. 
No, don't tell me this is a scary. Is this a oh my god, no, no. <laughs> don't tell me this is a haunted house. I don't want to go in there. No, no, no. I don't want to go in there. You're going to get lost in here. Of these, a keyring. No, 
have this thing of collecting keychains from wherever I go. So I'm gonna get one for Madame Toussaint. Yeah. I got a souvenir! Okay, we are done with Madame Toussaint. And we're now going to eat at um, Orgas, which is a buffet place at Nanjing Donglu. So we're gonna go there and have dinner. And then we're gonna go for the boat cruise after that. The famous Nanjing Donglu in Shanghai. That's New World, the mall that we just came out of. And on the 10th floor is Madame Tussauds. And this is basically Nanjing Donglu. We have all the big brands like Adidas from watches to clothes to food and especially now during the national day holidays a lot there's a lot of people every day but yeah it's normal and we're going to eat right now Unfortunately, it's no longer there. So sad. No, the whole day I was thinking of all the food I was gonna eat there. And now we went there to only to find out that it's not there anymore. So sad. So now we're going to look for Saizeria and eat there instead. So yeah. Walking to the wharf to get on the boat.
Other boats. Oh, we're getting on this one. We're going on the top. On point. We just finished the boat cruise and now we're getting off and going back to school. So the tickets for the boat ride was like 120 per person. And if you want to eat on the boat, you have to pay extra, of course. And then there's like special sitting areas as well. But we have to pay extra for that. 
Then you can also take pictures on board, professional pictures, and pay for like 20 yuan, I think. But it yeah, depends on which boat you get on and how expensive it is, basically. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's it for today. It was another fun and adventurous day out in Shanghai. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. If you're in Shanghai and you're a tourist, if you want to get around and if you want to be, if you, especially if you want to go to the places that I went to in my videos, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions and I'll be sure to answer them the ticket for the boat ride was 120 each for each person and um, yeah it basically took us to from one side of White Town to the other side and then back to the same place so we got on and got up on the same place and it took about 40 to 50 minutes so it wasn't that long but it was really nice and enjoyable so if you want to see Shanghai from a different perspective I would highly recommend getting a boat cruise we are tired and now we're in the metro station <laughs> waiting for the metro to go back to school hopefully we make it in time and yeah that was that's it for today's vlog so thank you for watching and oh yeah subscribe if you haven't